Welcome to the Quick Start AutoCAD 2010 video course. In this first video about what's new in AutoCAD 2010, we're going to discuss some of the new features available very briefly. We will then look at these in more detail as we go through the Quick Start course. When you first install AutoCAD 2010, there are three initial setup screens. I can't show you these because I've already installed AutoCAD 2010 on my laptop computer. What these initial setup screens allow me to do is they allow me to customize my workspaces and allow me, if I'm an architect, to set up an architectural workspace. If I'm an electrical engineer, they allow me to set up an electrical engineering workspace. There is also the default AutoCAD workspace available as well. These are down here on the status bar here. If I hover over 2D drafting and annotation and click here, you can see there's my workspaces there. I've got the standard ones, 2D drafting and annotation, 3D modeling, AutoCAD Classic. I've got the ones that I migrated from AutoCAD 2009, and there's my initial setup workspace there. That's the one that I would set up in those initial setup screens. Let's have a look now at the screen in AutoCAD 2010. You still have your drawing area here. But what you'll notice if you look at the ribbon at the top of the screen now, you'll see that the ribbon panels are color coded. When you hover over a panel, it highlights with a color. It's the same with the icons as well. Everything is much neater and tidier now. Notice the three rows of icons on each ribbon panel. As you can see as well, you now have the big red A in the top left corner of the screen. This was called the Menu Browser in AutoCAD 2009, and it replicated the pull-down menus from previous versions of AutoCAD. In AutoCAD 2010, it is now known as the Application Menu, and when you click on the arrow next to the big red A there, you'll see that it's a very different menu. It's process-driven now. So, for example, if I went to Save As, it gives me the option to save as an AutoCAD drawing, a template, a DWS file or other formats. If I went to print here as well for example you can see that I have lots of different options available to me. So if I went to page setup it opens up the page setup manager dialog box for me and allows me to edit the page setups in the current drawing. I don't need to edit any page setups here so I'm going to close that. It was purely me demonstrating a new feature in the application menu. If I just click on the application menu one more time, you've also got other options here, as you can see where you can open documents, you can look at recent documents, that's this list here, and you can also go to the options screen in AutoCAD, and you can also exit AutoCAD. So if I click on options, I can go and work with the options in AutoCAD and edit and change as I need to. I don't need to in this case, I'm going to cancel that there. Now the other thing that you'll notice at the top of the screen next to the A is you've still got the quick access toolbar here as you had in AutoCAD 2009. You've got New, Open, Save, Undo, Redo and Plot. You'll also notice there's a little flyout arrow here. If I click on it now, in AutoCAD 2010 you can customize the quick access toolbar. As you can see, the ones with the ticks are the commands that are already existing on the toolbar and as you can see there's lots of editing tools as well. We're going to cover those in more depth in the Quick Start course. This now ends the first part of what's new in AutoCAD 2010. Please now move on to part two of what is new in AutoCAD 2010.